If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team Coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what's up, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team Mutt Squads video for you. Going to be showing you guys the lineup that we have here. This is actually Ryan's, uh, D or actually it's uh, Nick Jr.'s offense, and it's going to be Ryan's defense on your screen here. I am playing head coach. We pretty much share cards and things like that so we can go back and forth i send them my weekend uh coins that i get from solo battles various different things like that to help build the squad so as you can see we have a pretty good team this is from a few days ago so we've actually upgraded it since uh and you guys will see that in just a couple of days here when i put out the next mud squads video but thought i would give you guys a quick team update there so that you can kind of see what we're working with here um and then you'll obviously also see the top three cards that we have for our team there clowny wentz randy moss all of them powered up and our opponents have Mike Vick, Randy Moss, and Bobby Wagner. Not quite as much of a, a great team, but still very, very good. So uh, starting things off here on defense, and they have Mike Vick scrambling around, getting sacked immediately there on the first play of the game by Bryant Young. We're going to try and bring as much pressure as we can here with this D-line because, guys, you don't realize just how nasty this D-line is. Bruce Smith gets another sack there, so it's third and 19. More pressure here coming around the edge. That's your boy, Clickwood, coming off the edge there. We get the sack there with Ted Hendricks, not the best pass rusher, but still pretty good. And that ends their drive three straight sacks. So we have the ball on offense now. Second play on offense for us on second and seven. And Nick is going to take the ball off the left side here. And a dance on the sidelines, jukes him out. And he is off to the races with Saquon Barkley. And he will not be caught. And we are now up 7-0 to start this game. Very nice start for us offensively. Back on defense here. I'm moving out to the right side there. I always like to give him a little bit of a different look on where I am. And that sometimes causes causes some problems right there though they try and throw the streak up the seam and we do get a nice tip on it Amos comes up with the interception so this is a very nice start for our defense specifically and as you can see we get the rage quit early and I'm not going to end it there for you guys we're going to go into the second game here this is the next game that we played the very next one kick return here opening kickoff and we find the seam oh my goodness that guy missed a tackle what is he doing give that guy a manual no, I'm, I'm not going to do that, guys. That was just a joke. But, uh, yeah, off to the races for the opening drive touchdown, or I guess opening kick return. It wasn't even a drive touchdown. On defense, Nick does make a nice play there. He swallows up those uh, those screens pretty easily most of the time. A lot of times, he actually intercepts them. He has a really good eye for uh, the screen passes, specifically to the halfback. So that's always nice to have on our team. Uh, trying to bait him in here to throw in that in route, and we do get a nice knock away there. As you can see, Matt Stafford, one for three, negative three yards at that point and he's going to go deep here on fourth and 13 into like five of our defenders i guess four of them but my goodness that is just not a good read but you know obviously you do have to try and make something happen if you're going to go for it on fourth and 13 so i don't really blame him but we do get the interception there easy peasy we get another quit there as you saw on your screen now we're on offense nick takes the ball up the middle again saquon barkley has just a million miles of open space gets to the end zone pretty much could have ran it in but he pretty much wanted to taunt him there i think I don't know why they just didn't run it in straight, but um, either way, we're up 12 nothing very early in this game. We're missing extra points left and right in this damn thing. For some reason, the uh, the extra point meter on squads lags ridiculously, and I don't really understand why. But uh, they do make a nice completion there. For some reason, our guy got an animation like he was intercepting the ball, and he just stood there. Very, very weird. Go back and watch that one again if you're interested, but a really weird animation there. But it didn't make that much of a difference because Bruce Smith does come off the edge again for a nice sack our defense is pretty much dominant at this point and look at that offensive lineman he's getting pissed he's getting all riled up fourth and 16 here gonna look deep again will he find a man yes really really great pass but unfortunately for him it gets dropped because our defenders have really good zone coverage so uh, make sure that you guys watch the video that I made the other day about zone coverage and why it's so important. I ran into him here, by the way. I was trying to get out in front and block, and I missed him. Uh, but yeah, watch that video I put out the other day about the, the zone coverage thresholds because that's going to show you guys exactly what you need uh, defensively and why the different zone coverages play differently, how they play differently, things like that. Uh, but yeah, zone coverage does still have thresholds this year. So go back and check out that video, guys. Uh, back on defense here, 18 to nothing. We're just missing extra points every time. I did bait that pass though. So again, another interception for our defense. Just a completely dominant game at this point. We're trying to put this one away. Nice little spin there by Ryan with Saquon Barkley and he is off to the races for another big gain. 
52 yards rushing already at this point. We're not even to halftime, and we're going to run this one in again. Pretty much taunting there all the way to the end zone, trying to get these guys to quit. And is it finally going to happen? No. Only one of them quits. So this guy apparently thinks, I'm going to make the 25 nothing comeback. Believe me, right? No. You're not making a 25 nothing comeback, son. Another interception there. This time, Jalen Ramsey. And that is going to finally force the second rage quit of today's video. So the second game in a row there that we do win. Now, we're only at about five minutes into this video. So I thought I'd throw in an additional game. This one is actually a lot more competitive. These guys didn't have that great of a team. But for some reason, their defense was giving us fits. So you'll have to check this one out. But... Here we go, guys. First play of the game on offense, and he is going to bomb it deep over there to the side. Actually, not even really deep, but about an eight-yard slant route there. Nice pass by Carson Wentz, and, uh, you know, so far, we're not really too worried about it, but right here, he is going to make a nice run up the middle, and that's not usually something that happens to us. We don't really get run on that often in this game. Passing, it can happen from time to time because people are really good at running good routes and things like that, but usually our defensive line is really good, and we don't really have much of an issue. Nice swat away there by our, our defender i don't even know who that is i think that's i think that's ryan shazier um but uh yeah so that that was a nice play by our defense and another sack there jadavian clowny that card is a friggin monster power up that clowny card i'm telling you right now that might be the best defensive player in the game right now Back on offense, second and seven. Saquon Barkley is going to pick up the first down there. So we've got two rushes, 13 yards at that point. Now we're going to look for the PA cross type play. These crossing patterns work pretty well on squads a lot of times. But right there, Nick is going to throw it off of his back foot on accident. Not what he was trying to do, but, uh, you know, it was, it was a good punt, I guess, right? <laughs> so they get the ball at the 39-yard line. Good defense by them. A lot of the routes were pretty locked down. I think I was fairly open over the middle. I, I'm going to blame Nick for that one. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> But our defense, again, swallowed him up in the backfield. Michael Strahan with a nice sack and another one there by Clowney. So you guys can see our defensive line is just terrorizing their quarterback. And honestly, my personal opinion is that getting great defensive line is probably the most important thing that you can do in mud squads. Because if they can get block sheds and they can make the, the game difficult for the opposing offense, it is so hard to do anything throwing the ball. And right there, we do get a nice deep ball to Randy Moss. I was open over the middle, but man, I don't blame him for going deep to Moss on that one. Ryan here makes a nice play, but unfortunately, a great user lurk on defense. And I thought he might return this one for a touchdown at first, but we do get him stopped. So unfortunately, we've thrown a couple of picks at this point. This game is a little bit more competitive than we were expecting when we saw their overall players. There was like a 90, and 89, another 89. Probably guys that we should be beating by more than we are. Well, we're not even beating them at that point. But, you know, forcing a lot of sacks here on the defensive line. Another one there. Um, pretty much controlling the game for the most part, to be honest with you. Just made a couple of mistakes offensively. Third and 20 here, and this is actually a really big play for their offense because if they don't pick this up, we're probably going to have good field position right around midfield. So they're going to throw it up here into coverage, and Ryan gets a big user interception there, and he gets us back into field goal range here at the 32-yard line. That is plenty of space for us to be able to kick the field goal. So now third and 15, though, we do lose a few yards, trying to pick up at least a few yards here to get into better field goal range and a nice play there on the sidelines. Big catch by Odell Beckham Jr. And that sets us up here. Second and goal at the eight yard line. And we do make a great catch there. Randy Moss, the one hander in traffic. That is the best receiver in the game right now, in my opinion. Nobody else is getting those animations consistently that I've found. So I really recommend that Randy Moss card. That card does some serious work for us on offense. Uh, if you guys play squads, I would certainly recommend it, or even head-to-head. -head. That card is absolutely ridiculous. Now, our opponents are trying to make a drive here at the end of the first half. 30 seconds left, but another big sack. He should have probably stepped up there. Clowney is just coming around the edge, almost on a contain. I don't think we're actually containing him, but that's pretty much what he's doing. Um, so yeah, they're, they're trying to get into field goal range, but it's not quite happening for him. Fourth and 12 here. So much pressure by our defensive line, and we're honestly just rushing four. Clowney, again, coming off the edge. Uh, gets a nice block shed so two for five i think we have more sacks than they do pass attempts at this point to be honest with you so uh great job by our defense right there they do actually drag the ball nicely there, heading into the fourth quarter here so uh they they kind of played with my user there with a nice drag and a kind of a, a seam pattern combination i tried to cover the drag didn't work out for me again clowny four sacks on defense six total tackles and you can see 
It's just almost every single play that we're getting these big plays. And it's another one there. That one is Bruce Smith. It's just sack after sack after sack. And again, I'm telling you guys, that is the most important thing to do. We do get the ball back and a nice spin there. Trying to get another first down to kind of salt this game away. Third and six. They're probably assuming that we're going to pass here. But we're trying to run as much clock as we can. Even though that they would be able to call a timeout if we didn't pick this up. And right here, we are going to pick it up. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap this game up. We go ahead and just run out the clock at this point so there you have it three wins in mutt squads hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay video if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and you guys can see there my current record right now 20 and 0 in squads gonna try and continue that type of pace here as we go on but i'm having a great time playing squads hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos if you are be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you guys again soon